Greetings friends! Licensed Gamer here and welcome to my brand new actual walkthrough. And this time I'm doing a walkthrough of SpongeBob Creature from the Krusty Krab for the PlayStation 2. And yeah, um Yeah, it's been a while since you guys heard me, you know, talk. Considering that, you know, I've been doing, you know, live streams and stuff like that, and I haven't been, you know, speak, I haven't been talking. So yeah, I'm talking right now, so that's good, right? But, um, but, um, yeah, uh, this is actually one of the few games that I actually wanted to get as a kid when I first saw the advertisements. It's been, you know half a decade since I've, uh, you know, heard about this game, and, um, yeah, um, and I thought I would, and I thought I would do a walkthrough of this game, considering that it's almost Halloween and stuff like that. So, um, let's press start, obviously, and uh, start story, uh, press story mode. No, not continue game. There we go. Oh jeez. That's some that's some that looks, that looks like some freaking Rob Zombie um Rob Zombie artwork. <laughs> it does, real look at it. And yeah, this game was Oh cutscenes. Shut up. As usual. Hey look, those cutscenes. Indeed. I uh, see SpongeBob sleeping in his bed, and it's been a while since I've whoa. SpongeBob has a hot rod now. Okay, I see how it is. Actually, no, I don't. I have no idea what's going on right now. Whoa! What the heck? Oh lord! Okay then. Say what? Whoa. Oh crap. Ugh. Well, that's totally not gonna haunt my nightmares, right? That's two words, Dale, but thanks for playing. He was gonna say that, but I guess he didn't chance to say that. Oh yeah, yeah y'all need to get. I don't, I don't think you guys need to know how to control a vehicle in any PS2 game, right? Oh, he already said that already. All right, now what was I saying? Um. Yeah, apparently we're in a race now, and the only and what we're really doing right now is just racing through checkpoints. We're not really racing anybody, at least not yet, until the third act of this level. But anyway, what was I gonna say? Uh, Oh yeah, I forgot. The characters talk a lot. And there's no way for you to, I mean, you can turn up the dialogue, but that wouldn't be fun. But, um, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, it's been a while since I've done a Spongebob walkthrough since the Spongebob movie walkthrough. And that was like, two years ago. And I thought I would do this game, like I said, because it's almost, it's almost Halloween. And I thought I would do a, a somewhat dark Spongebob game, I guess. It's not that dark, but... I mean, it, I mean, it looks kind of creepy enough. Yeah, like I said, Spongebob talk. Yeah, the characters in this game talks a lot. Get used to that. Considering the people that played this game before. Alright. Checkpoint. First checkpoint. Frost. I knew it. But, um, yeah. Uh, this is actually one of the few Spongebob games I wanted to get as a kid. I remember seeing advertisements for this game when it first came out. I actually... It was actually a website for this game. It was actually a website for this game a long time ago. I don't think there's any, and there's no way you can use it again, obviously, because it's been discontinued. Whoa! Holy crap! It's your dream, SpongeBob. It's your freaking dream. Okay then. I did not expect that to happen. Okay then. Oh 
But yeah, I like the music in this game. The music game is really good. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Yeah, yeah. Ha ha! Whoa! What the heck? The place just ran over us. Uh, let's see if I can use this uh, save file. Ah, crap! Uh, I guess we have to get rid of this. I have another memory card, so I can just, um, uh, use my other memory card, so that way, in a later walkthrough, I can show my completed file. So, yeah. Alright. Well, Dale, looks like the new competitor's lost his license already. Hello, is this thing on? What the? Hello? Thanks for the feedback, Dale. <laughs> Rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and rock and roll, or oh, rock and roll. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Music in this game is just too good. I do like the soundtrack in this game, though. I mean, it's no Battle for Bikini Bottom soundtrack or the Spider-Man movie um, soundtrack, and I think those soundtracks are much more memorable. Not this one isn't memorable either. I mean, I mean it's good, but it's not as memorable. That's all. Why? Why? Oh, cruel! See how you taunt this little yellow spot. Yeah, you look really torn up about it. it. No, it's too far away for me to reach. Curse you, underwater currents! You win again. To get your driving license back, you have to unlock the speed demon inside of you, SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're on foot, come over here and I can tell you a few more things. And, um, yeah, this is basically where they can give us a fresh, fresh, um, fresh taste of platforming, basically. Yeah, you still have analog stick, blah, blah, blah. We already know already. If you play any platformer or even the SpongeBob games already by this point, you basically, you basically know how to play this game already. I mean, even the controls is a little different. This game does borrow elements from Battle for Bikini Bottom. As you can see, I um, mean, as you can see, um, the um, the developers basically used the character models from Battle for Bikini Bottom in the movie game. Even has the same, even has the same um, animation and things like that. Yeah, you can be, yeah, basically. What's this? Whoa! I bet these are valuable. I'm gonna collect as many as I can. Yeah, they're basically called Z coins. You basically use Z coins to, you know, buy some extra stuff from the Z shot, which the game never explains to you. They never, the game never explains what they're used for. They basically just tells you to collect them. You'll need to jump over that gap to get to me. And there's no way, and there's no other way you're able to figure that out unless you have the manual. And I actually ordered this game from online, um, like on my birthday, and um, I, I think it was like two years ago and it never came with a manual so I wasn't able to know that. I was able to know that by watching reviews for this game, basically. And Spongebob does this weird thing. He basically does that when we get a new move. To use the winch, press the square button. Yeah. Turn it as Whoa. fast as you can, boy! Work those crazy arms! Calm down, Mrs. Puff. Calm down, okay? It's not that serious, okay? Alright, she's basically telling you to She's basically telling you to use the right analog stick to rotate it left and right. Thank God it wasn't the motion. Thank God it wasn't the freaking motion controls from the Wii version. You will probably have to, you know, you will probably have to ring it back and forth, rack back and forth. And it'll, it'll probably be a pain in the butt. Don't forget your seatbelt. Thank God I don't have the Wii version. This is the PS2 version, by the way. Yeah, I was. Didn't you notice? And this is the Krusty Krab. It looks really, really, I say really weird. Where am I, Elmer Fudd? Oh yeah, um... What, what I just collected there, that was a Sleepy Seed. If you get all Sleepy Seeds in every level in the game, you can actually play as one of the characters until the end of the game. Which I'm not gonna spoil. 
Yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Neither can I, dude. And I'm starting a walk, an actual walkthrough today. I can't take the excitement either. An actual walkthrough. I'm actually doing. Oh crap! Come on, camera. Focus. Bow, bow, bow. I'm sorry, I can't help it. How was it able to run without legs? For your next lesson, you need to jump I get it, SpongeBob, but still. I swear, there's no other TV show that could actually be like Spongebob, because Spongebob nowadays is all over the place. There's so many memes and so many references from the older episodes. So I'm afraid there's there's never going to be a cartoon that's like Spongebob, unfortunately. When it does, you know, actually, the show actually kills itself over. I did hear that the, um that um Steven Hillebird, the creator of SpongeBob, actually has a disease, and unfortunately there's no cure for it. So I'm um, um so basically, uh, I mean it's disappointing though. I I do really I do feel really bad for Steven Hillebird. He is he's he's such a great he's such he's such a great um inspiration for me. That's pretty much why I want to create cartoons one day. Pause. Sorry guys, that was an interruption. All right, where was I? Oh crap, I just lost what I was gonna say. Oh wait a minute, I remember now. Oh yeah, um you basically have the attack to ground pound now. That's nice. And I was saying that I do feel bad for Steven Hillenberg, because he was such a he's such he's such an inspiration for me. That's pretty much why I wanna start that's why I wanna start, you know, creating cartoons one day. I mean I've been drawing ever since I was a kid and the only care the only characters I will ever draw was SpongeBob, basically. I mean, that was the only character I would ever draw. Is when I, when I was like during my er, during my early days at elementary school, and I would usually, you know, cut the paper out. And you know, when I was a kid in elementary school, you know, when I see a character or a building character I like, I basically just draw them and I just cut them out, and make them into paper dolls. It was such a habit for me as a kid. Seri like seriously, I I did that a lot. And I, you know, I kind of got in trouble for that, because I do it way too often. I mean, I don't do it anymore, obviously, but I, I'm, I mean, I usually just, you know, draw actually, and not cut them out. Let's just say my, um, my, you know, my paper doll incident a long time ago, like half a decade, was more controversial. Some people liked it, some people didn't. Because it was a habit of mine as a kid, you know. SpongeBob, well done. Here you go. I think you'll find this little dash attack power up will come in very handy for getting your license back. Use dash attack. Dash attack Whoa. To push that spark block into its slot, and you'll find what it is you seek. Ooh. I have no idea why SpongeBob keeps doing that. All right, point SpongeBob in the right direction. Yeah, you basically just hold the R1 button to ram SpongeBob into any object that's near him. Go on, dash that spark plug. By activating, you know, by activating machines and stuff. Ow! Da da da! Oh, whoa! The, oh, oh! The, the music started You're looping. One of my best pupils. Uh oh. Yeah, get used to that. Mrs. Pop's gonna say that a lot in this in this chapter. Da 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 da! Yeah, oh, I ruined it. Oh, my lovely, lovely life that I found you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, Spider-Man! Wow. Great Patrick! What? Uh, oh, what? Uh, what did they do to Patrick? What? Did, did they do to Patrick? Uh, 
I'm not gonna question that. Who's ready for his first real challenge, Dale? Should be interesting, Rick. Interesting. Like grappling with an angry octopus, Dale. All right, so we're having a actual real race. Okay, not really. We're still doing the same thing, ex except Patrick's gonna be in a race and he gets start going. <laughs> He's gonna, you know, basically start. You basically gonna um, throw bombs at you. Spoiler alert. And I already know. Thank you. <laughs> and whoa, Patrick just just freaking sunk the hedgehog on me. Yeah, like I said, he can start throwing bombs at you, and it does absolutely nothing. Except kind of slows you down. Oh yeah, they also add the cats too. But yeah, not much really changes. I mean, I mean you'll see later on, but other than that, it's basically it. Watch me go, whoa, whoa. Watch me go, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Mm. Check me out. Oh, whoa. I'm not starting the hedge off for crying out loud. I can't keep up with I can't keep up with Patrick. What is up with these what is up with these um debris, man? Really? Long live the Speed King. Hail to the King, baby. Whoa! The Fast and the Furious. Or maybe the Fast and the What the? What the? What about the? What for what? Well, like the Fast and the Spongiest. And I missed that Sweetie Seed, but whatever. Like I said, I'll show more of that later. Later on in the walkthrough. Check out, Check out my wheels! What wheels? Whoa! Acceleration! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was a little I got a little carried away. Check out my wheels! Oh, come on, dude. Super Speed Sponge! Oh, yeah, Swan's not even in this game. I see his house, but he's not in the game. Yeah! Speed Sponge! There we go, I got it this time. Watch me go! Whoa, whoa! Zip, zip, baby! Here I come! Oh, crap. Okay. Going faster! 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 Alright, this must be the last lap, right? There we go, it's the last lap. And my thumb is killing me, by the way. Ow! What the heck? <laughs> and Spumma's just gonna sit there. And Plankton basically just tore our hot rod apart. Great. Definitely. Awesome. Smashing a competitor's car, Dale. Is that against the rules? There aren't any rules, Rick. Reminds me of my first marriage, Dale. <laughs> Say what? Alright, guess what? More platforming. And then we gotta find all the parts to our hot rod. But that's in the next video right now. Let's see if I can't find some parts lying around to fix up my car. These guys aren't just gonna let me come and rummage around, so I better brush up on my skills. Yeah, what the heck? How is all of this happening? There's no. S I mean, I get it's taking place in SpongeBob's dream. I know this game is taking place around like dreams and stuff, but yeah, I already explained that. Um. Oh yeah, that thing right there basically just you know saves your check. Basically, you know, it's basically your safe safe point. 
for this game, and it also refills your health, you know. It all, yeah, this save point also refills your health for some reason, and that's kind of weird. But anyway, um, in the next video, we're going to find all of Spongebob's parts towards Hot Rod. See you guys then, this is Lysis Gamer signing off.